So you want to know what the ultimate family guard dog breed is? Well, today's last quarterfinal contest sees the German Shepherd and the Pitbull looking to eliminate each other and move on to the semi-final. So without further ado, let's get straight into round one of our five-round fight. Whoever wins the most rounds progresses. Round number one, temperament with children. German Shepherds are known to be good around children of all ages because they are so calm and patient, more especially if they are well-bred, even-tempered dogs. With this said, German Shepherd puppies can be boisterous during playtime and mature German Shepherds can grow into very large dogs. As such, care should always be taken when there are toddlers in the home because a German Shepherd may accidentally knock them over during this playtime. Being gentle with children, sturdy and tough enough to handle the heavy-handed pets and hugs that children often mistakenly give out and having a chilled attitude towards children running, screaming and playing makes pit bulls excellent family companions and their dangerous reputation is widely accepted by canine experts to be completely unfounded and far more often the result of poor training and socialisation by the uneducated, unethical or simply moronic owners. Now this is a very tough decision for me to make starting today's contest. Both dogs are robust and when socialised well can be excellent with children and I would honestly be okay with you guys at home choosing either of the breeds and I wouldn't argue with which one you chose. So I'm going to judge this round completely selfishly and think if I had to choose between the two breeds to be around my own young children and based on the decision solely on temperament with children, I would choose the Pitbull. Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments and why. Round number two, the intimidation factor. The German Shepherd is a mid-sized to large dog that boasts being a little longer in the body than they are tall. They are powerful, muscular dogs with extremely weather-resistant coats. They are very well-proportioned dogs with slightly domed foreheads and nicely web-shaped muzzles. Their eyes are almond-shaped and medium in size, with dark brown being the preferred colour, although lighter colours are acceptable. The German Shepherd has a lively, intelligent expression and gives the impression of being a confident and self-assured character. German Shepherds have medium to largest size ears that are broader at the base and set high on the dog's head. They carry their ears erect and parallel to each other, and these dogs have a strong jawline with a perfect bite. The boast longish necks are strong and well muscled, which they carry at an angle at rest, but higher when they are on the move or excited. When it comes to their coat, there are two different types in the German Shepherd, with the first being short and the second being long, but both are extremely weather resistant. A German Shepherd's outer coat is straight, dense and close lying with dogs having a much thicker and denser undercoat. The hair on a German Shepherd's head, ears, front legs, paws and toes is short but longer and denser on their necks, backs of their legs and hindquarters. Dogs with longer coats have feathers on the underside of their tails, longer hair on the back of their front legs and their hair is also longer both behind the inside their ears which looks like tufts. Some male German Shepherds have a slight rough and it is worth noting that mole type coats in German Shepherds are highly undesirable. Pitbull Terriers are the medium-sized version of the free breeds are loosely referred to as Pitbulls. Often confused with the American Staffordshire Terrier and the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, the Pitbull Terriers stand from 18 to 24 inches and weigh anything from 30 to 60 pounds. They are muscular and solidly built and very powerful for their medium size. The wedge-shaped head is large but not massive and in proportion with the rest of the body. There are slight wrinkles present on the forehead and the single coat is short and lays very close to the body. They may come in any colour of the canine rainbow except merle and they may be solid coloured or have patches of colour. Their eyes also may be any colour except blue as long as it complements the coat colouring. The ears are either cropped or left natural and can be rose shaped or semi prick and the short tail is tapered. As we discussed in the last quarter final, this round has become very controversial, which is to be expected as it is ultimately a subjective decision, and I have been judging this on which I personally think is more intimidating, not what I think the general public thinks is more intimidating. Something I'm going to consider changing for future tournaments and try and find a way to get your guys' votes on these subjective based rounds. However, it wouldn't be fair to change halfway through this tournament, so I personally think the German Shepherd is more intimidating and they level this contest out one round each. But please again, feel free to disagree and let me know why. I love learning from you guys just as much as I love making these videos. Just try and keep it friendly down in the comment section below. Round number three, the dog's trainability. German Shepherds are highly intelligent and need a tremendous amount of mental stimulation to be truly well-rounded characters. In the right hands and with the correct amount of training, they are extremely responsive to commands that they are taught. They excel when they take part in obedience classes for this very reason and they are particularly receptive to voice commands when the right sort of intonation is used. German Shepherds respond well to positive reinforcement and will not accept any harsh methods of handling, which includes the way they are corrected when they get something wrong. Well handled, they excel at all of the canine sporting activities which include agility, fly ball, obedience, but they can also be seen working as a rescue dog, tracking dogs and helping the police and other authorities in their work, all of which are jobs which German Shepherds take in their stride. 
Training should be started early and always done in a calm, assertive manner, as they won't respond to discipline or harsh tones. Training is best done in short sessions due to the Pitbull Terrier's short attention span, and they will quickly become uninterested, even if treats are being used as a reward. Lots of patience is necessary when working with a Pitbull Terrier, as training can be a longer process. Even after a Bull Terrier is fully trained, they may decide to test their boundaries as they get older and project some dominance. These situations should always be handled with calm assertion. Like a teenager, they just want to see what it is that they can get away with. Families with children should show slice puppies early on to accept outside children as welcome guests. While pit bull terriers will bond nicely with kids in their own family, they can sometimes be aggressive or overprotective to other children and should be taught early on that all kids are to be welcomed with open arms. Much easier and quicker round for me to judge and I'd be surprised if anyone disagrees with the fact that the German Shepherd is the clear winner here and going up two rounds to one. Round number four, health and life expectancy. The average life expectancy of a German Shepherd is between 9 and 13 years and sometimes can be longer when properly cared for. With this said, the breed is known to suffer from certain hereditary issues and acquired health problems which include the following. Hip and elbow dysplasia, pituitary dwarfism, exocrine pancreatic insufficiencies, degenerative myelopathy, bloat and gastric torsion and some forms of epilepsy. The average lifespan of the American Pitbull Terrier is around 12 years and health concerns associated with this breed can include achectic keratosis, allergies, bloat, cancer, cataracts, congenital heart disease, cranial cruciate ligament rupture, cutaneous histocytomas, hip dysplasia, hyperthyroidism and von Willebrand's disease. Very close round here again, but the German Shepherd very narrowly squeezes out this round with a potentially longer life expectancy, but definitely fewer common health issues. The fifth and final round... Actual protection ability. German Shepherd dogs make excellent watchdogs because the need to protect is a trait that is deeply embedded in the dog and why the breed has always been so highly regarded guard dog throughout the world. Extremely loyal and intelligent, the German Shepherd is not only a great choice as a family pet, but they're extremely versatile in the working environment too. Over the years, the breed has been used by police forces in many countries. They play a vital role in the army thanks to their intelligence, alertness, resilience, stamina, reliability and extraordinary scenting skills. The American Pitbull Terriers are extremely devoted and loyal to their family and will, if necessary, defend them to the death. However, that being said, they are much more renowned for their watchdog abilities and relying on their intimidation factor from their negative stereotypes than they are guard dogs and will often greet a stranger at the door with kisses rather than chasing them off, especially if it's a Pitbull Terrier that you've trained and socialised well from an early age. Like trainability, there's no contest here in my opinion, and although pit bulls can excel at IPO and guarding work, there is a reason that they are very rarely chosen over German Shepherds, who are one of the best breeds in the world in this category. So the German Shepherd wins his quarterfinal four rounds to one and advances to the semi-finals of our tournament, where he will take on the Belgian Malinois, a contest I'm very excited for and it could be the closest yet. Don't forget to leave your score predictions for that next contest down in the comment section below and we'll see if any of you guys can get it right. Click top left video for another quarterfinal contest between the Bull Mastiff and the Connie Corso and click the bottom left for another one of my videos I think you'll enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next contest in our tournament to determine the ultimate family guard dog.